Hello everybody, uh, welcome to part 8 on uh, how to build your own solar panel. So, as I left off last time, you have your cell sitting inside, uh, your spacer there, uh, the wires are all tucked in, and I just went ahead and cut my uh, 20 by 21 pane of glass, and on this one I actually got lucky because the glass is already 20 inches uh, wide. So all the adhesive is still on there from that, and I just cut to length on 21. So go ahead and just put that down there. Okay. All right. I get a little scratch there. That's all right. Okay, so now I go, uh, went ahead and got the top sealed, and now what I have to do, I have two holes that are, there's one right there, and one right there, that's for when I, uh, when I made the frame, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick some uh, silicone in those, Okay, go from there. Okay. So I got my uh, premium waterproof silicone, and I'm just going to go ahead and shoot it in the end here. Alright, that's sealed up, and my other one, alright, it's nice and sealed up. And I did forget to mention that uh, the window for the top one is a, a clear glass, so there's no tin or anything to it. And if you can't find the clear glass and you have to use a tinted glass, it is going to uh, lessen the, the power coming out of these cells. So an option is, if you can't find the clear glass uh, and, and you need to use tinted glass, you could always just go ahead and make uh, this panel basically three inches longer and add three more cells on the bottom. Uh, which should be you know, one and a half extra, so that should really overcome what the glass, you know, how heavy the tin is. So it should overcome, and you should have the same amount of power. But otherwise, uh, use a clear glass or even plexiglass. But free glass is definitely the cheapest way to go. So uh, now we got that. So the next thing I'll be doing, and this is really sick. Okay is the uh, window seal that I have here. It's a, a big roll. And I'm just going to basically be cutting this the long way, which, yes, which is this way. I'm basically be cutting this 21 inches long. Sit that that way, otherwise you're going to stick to the table again. So here is the, the window seal that I like to use, and it's sometimes kind of hard to, to get it started. But the bag just peels off I like that, and this uh, black stuff is very, very, very sticky. It's, a, it's an excellent, also another vapor barrier. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut these I believe, yeah, an inch and a half uh, uh, wide, and I should get two two of them out of it. And go ahead, and I'll be sealing off right where the, the gray is, so it's going to hide that completely. Okay, so I cut my two strips to an inch and a half, and had a little left over, so I believe uh, the the roll is uh, four inches wide. So, and as I said, sometimes these are hard to get started. Okay, I got it. Maybe. Okay, so I got it separated. And once this stuff is on, it's it's not coming off. It's 
even hard to pull back up right after you're done. Go ahead and just stick it over the gray and just press it down and it's it, it's down there already. There, you'd really have to struggle to, to get the thing back up. Alright, go ahead and wrap it around the bottom. Okay, so went ahead and did the one side as you can see. And uh, let's say uh, down the road that this glass breaks. To get this seal off, you actually just have to cut it off because you can't actually get it back out of there. So uh, it's, a, it's a very good seal. So I'm going to go ahead and get the remaining three sides. Okay, went ahead and cut off the uh, window sealant, got it all attached. And one tip, your scissors when you're done, even with cutting this uh, four times, it's going to be covered in this tar-like substance, uh, rubbing alcohol, and it's going to take a few minutes because this stuff is pretty strong. We'll clean it up and then you can go from there, but these, if I left them like this, they're almost useless because they're just covered in it. It's so strong. Anyway, so here is the solar panel. Uh, all sealed up. Nice vapor barrier there, and you got a vapor barrier around the uh, solar cells. And on the end here, you get a close up. I just cut a slit for each wire, laid it across, laid it over, and just cut a piece because I have plenty of uh, spare scraps. And just stuck it over there, and that's that's on there real, uh, real tight. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the sun and show you guys what it reads. Okay, so got the solar panel here with my uh, extremely cheap Harbor Freight uh, meter. And I'm going to try and get a close up if you guys can see this or not. But right now it is, because I'm moving around, it's actually jumping around uh, 9.6 or right around there. And usually this will settle down right around 9.5. 950, yeah, give or take, so 9.5 is what it's going to settle down at. Okay, so uh, the next video is basically going to be building the frame and uh, putting that together. And then future videos, I'm going to be hooking the, the two solar panels up together and putting a blocking diode in there. And that's pretty much going to be it. So maybe, just a guess, about three more videos and that, that should be about it. So, okay, I appreciate you watching as always. Take care and God bless.